Good morning, friends and fellow traders. Hey, this is Doug Campbell with Rightway Options, and this is the morning market preparation video for February 13th, 2019. It's hump day. My, oh my, did we have a big day yesterday. Those bulls got really excited when we um, heard that Congress had passed a deal on the budget and um, the potential we could potentially avoid a government shutdown on Friday. Now we have to wait to see if the president will sign that bill. Now, he's already said that he doesn't think there's going to be another shutdown. So I think everyone is kind of thinking that he is going to sign that bill. But at the same time, he's also said, I really don't like this bill. So who knows what will actually happen. But right now the market is is going with the assumption that he is going to sign that bill and staying very bullish. Also, there is an awful lot of energy um, right now around the futures. The futures are bullish and, and, and uh, markets around the world were bullish last night. And mostly on this idea that trade negotiations are going well with China. Now, although we haven't heard any news out of current negotiations, um, there is um, some sentiment beginning to grow that uh, that it is moving forward or progressing positively. The president has even come out and made mention of the fact that he might be willing to soften his deadline um, for tariff increases. So we'll have to wait and see, but obviously that is also giving the market a pretty good bump in energy. So let's take a look and see what's going on here in the chart. First, we have a just a really great trend. I mean, that this is the kind of trend that Everyone likes to see market just continuing to move up solidly with that trend. We broke this downtrend, everything looking good there, and we held a very important level. That 25,000 level in the Dow, we held that as support and shooting back up here. Now, we do have this resistance level right here that we're breaching this morning. We're going to gap up this morning, it looks like, unless um, some of the news coming out the, this morning with earnings reports and things like that. Uh, begin to soften that but we're going to start pushing uh, for some new highs here it looks like and our next resistance level beyond there would be right up in this area that we could look for and as you can see we're gapping up this morning so somewhere in between that le those levels so watch that close gotta gotta say trend is bullish uh, the bulls are large and in charge and so far there are no signs of problems here however there is a little bit of clues in different places that we may be um, stretching this um, run just a little too hard and that a rest a pullback could happen at any time so um, please stay very very focused to price action don't just blindly chase in to um, a market run this late in the run um, be really careful and watchful um, those potential uh, signals that could crop up at any time of profit taking or just a little bit of market weakness remember we still have these news events out here can, that could easily shift us for example if the president all of a sudden decided hey i'm not signing this deal um, the market is probably going to be very disappointed on that news if for example we hear trade negotiations aren't going well the market will likely be very disappointed at on that news so keep those things in mind we're still waiting in anticipation you know we're just sitting right here at the edge of our seat waiting waiting and hoping for good news and the market has been very bullish about that, at least to this point. Let's take a look at the SPY. SPY looking really good as well. You can see we've just moved up here beautifully. I, I need to start removing some of these uh, data points in here because we're, we've just moved up so nice and strongly uh, in this chart. And I had mentioned this level last week is a real critical level that we needed to hold for uh, support. And as you can see, we held that beautifully. 
holding on to this trend and actually breaking through that high. We pushed up even after hours last night, pushing higher into that move. This morning, we're looking at a gap up open. And once again, we want to pay attention right up here. We have that triple top resistance. So we'll want to watch that pretty closely. By the way, I forgot to mention, if we take a look at our moving averages, notice that we pushed the market straight up into that 200 day moving average. So we do have a little bit of a resistance point right there on that average. And once again, if we look at the diamonds, the diamonds has actually held that 200 day moving average pushing higher. So we have um, lots of good reasons to be bullish in this market, but also a few signs starting to crop up that we're getting late in this run and we should be a little bit careful about overextending how many positions we have and, and watching those positions to take some profits along the way let's take a look at the cues real quick Q's didn't quite breach up through there yesterday, that resistance high um, right here, but came very, very close. And now this morning, as you can see, this morning we're looking at a gap up here in the NASDAQ, looking pretty strong. And a once again, beautiful trend, a beautiful hold of price support all is looking well there and now we have to start looking up here to these levels for that price resistance and there's kind of a zone here of multiple levels so we'll want to watch that pretty close as we move up there here again if we take a look at our moving averages you can see we're very very close to that 200 day moving average this has been an extraordinary move up an extraordinary run so we'll want to be careful to pay attention to those resistance areas in the market Let's take a look at IWM. IWM has been really nice, and this was a beautiful entry in here. Um, I mentioned this as a key level of support. We didn't even come close to testing that key level of support. Um, held up there nicely, looking really, really good. And if you take just a quick look, we are very, very close to that price resistance right there. So watch that closely as we move up. And of course, we have the additional resistance levels up here that we'll want to pay attention to as we climb this wall. Let's take a look at our moving averages on that. And you can see um, IWM still has a significant way to go to reach that 200 day moving average so let's keep an eye on this and just remember that we are getting a little bit extended let's take a look at the vix yesterday i mentioned that with the bullishness in the market we could fail right on through this level of support and that's what we ended up doing dropping through this level of support is great showing Fear has really dropped out of the market, but I got to be honest on a 300, uh, well, at one point, 400 point move in the Dow, I would have expected a bigger move in the VIX where we would have just broken down through here and really showed uh, that fear dropping out of the market. We didn't get that. We had this little kind of uh, spinning top doji, a little bit of indecision right here, whether it wants to sink a whole lot further. So just one of those clues Maybe we need to be a little bit careful about overextending ourselves here in the market. And remember, after a 375 point gain in the Dow yesterday, a little rest, a little pullback would not be out of the question, and it wouldn't hurt the overall market either. So kind of keep that in mind. Be really careful of this pop-up this morning. As we gap up, we want to make sure buyers will actually support that gap. We don't want to see what we, uh, what we had on... Um, on um, uh, Monday with that pop and drop pattern. Hopefully that doesn't occur, um, but we want to make sure and not chase a run um, when we're looking so extended. Let's take a look at T2122. And this is where that real concern is of overextension. And you can see we did dip. This was our little dip that we took in the market. And we pushed right back up here. We are clear up here pegged near that 100 level. Um, I got to be honest, guys. I've never seen that I can recall a time when T2122 has stayed up here um, pegged against that level for so long. And um, it's kind of remarkable to see. 
and we'll have to wait um, and pay attention to um, any kind of clues that that's changing. But so far, bulls are definitely in charge and staying strong. Does this necessarily mean that we have to fall? And I, I would say the answer to that is no. Um, um, the market can um, go well beyond um, any expectations here and could push even higher. But we want to make sure um, to pay attention to the fact that we could also pull back or consolidate um, holding in this area. So watch that close. I think that momentum is starting to drift here in the market a little bit. So watch that closely. Let's take a look at um, the economic calendar today. If we take a peek over here, we have um, just a couple things that could move the market around here today. First, we have Fed speak this morning, a little bit of Fed speak going on and some this afternoon that we'll want to pay attention to. And if you notice the big thing on the agenda for today, CPI coming out um, just before the market opens, an hour before the market opens, that definitely can move the market around. And with the sensitivity that we've been seeing in the oil market, um, this petroleum status report definitely could move the market around um, if there's a surprise build or a some kind of a surprise dec decline in, su in supplies. So we'll want to watch that pretty closely um, on those two major reports today on the earnings calendar today man we have a really big uh, calendar we have over 170 companies reporting and that's going to stay a, a big calendar for e tomorrow we have over 200 on the calendar for tomorrow about 225 actually and so a lot going on on the on the these earnings reports so you're going to want to stay pretty focused in on what happens this morning as these um, reports begin to roll out. And uh, then keep in mind, there are significant reports even after the close. For example, today after the close, we'll hear from Cisco. Um, Cisco is one of those big tech bellwethers that we'll want to keep an eye on, and that's reporting this afternoon. So hope everyone has a fantastic day, and I want to wish you great profits. And if this is the first time when you've seen these videos, please do me a favor. Click that subscribe button on YouTube. Click the follow me button if you happen to be watching this video on Facebook. Click those thumbs up buttons, and please, please, please leave a comment. That helps so much when you leave those comments and click those thumbs up buttons to get the algorithms to show these videos to more people thank you so much for those of you who do take the time uh, to just leave a, a very brief comment thank you very much you it's very humbling to see the growth that we're getting right now in the channel and it really it all goes back to you guys you you are the ones supporting the channel helping us grow um, this content so if you continue to enjoy this if you find this being uh, useful to your trading please continue to support that channel you guys are awesome now let's take a look um, at some possible trades out there there are a few things uh, popping and moving around that um, look pretty darn good and I'm going to show you um, I have a bunch a absolute huge number of potential alerts out there that I keep watching in charts um, let's take a look at snap now you can see snap gapped up on earnings but what what I want you to notice here is that at least at this point there's been very little selling going in on that uh, big earnings pop so I'm watching this now I would expect this to consolidate a bit more I wouldn't suggest that we should just jump right into snap but it is possible that a chart can change the trajectory of um, its move um, of its trend so we'll want to watch that closely but if this pulls back or consolidates over into this area one for the watch list kind of keep an eye on uh, snap looking very good how about Baidu Baidu very very close 
to uh, breaking its downtrend. Now, one problem you have here with Baidu is it's going to report earnings on the 21st, and it's trying to break that downtrend. We have this little uptrend underway. Definitely something to put on the list. Uh, you can see I have a price alert right here, waiting to see if that will come along. But you know, good signs in that in that chart and something to pay attention to. How about AKS, AK Steel? Nice little uptrending move here, coming up nice. Had a beautiful little pullback. Buyers trying to peek up here and show us a little strength. Now this is a little guy. You got to be careful with these little guys, but still looking very very good. If this can pop on through and hold that nice trend. Um, we want to keep an eye on AKS. A little bigger stock, um, STZ, STZ. Really nice, not, um, tight pattern here. This is a pattern I call pop out of the box, where we get this really tight consolidation in here, and it happens to be right above this little level of price support. So as that consolidates here, breaking this downtrend consolidates, we want to watch for those buyers to come in, popping this up and continuing this trend up. So we have this nice little trend coming into play we don't know exactly where that's going to continue from but we want to keep an eye on that so there's a few charts for you to kind of add to your list keep an eye on everyone i want to wish you all a great day i want to wish you great profits thank you so much for those of you supporting this channel you are the best and i'll talk to you bright and early thursday morning everyone have an awesome day